How to hide the bottom navigation bar on scrolling down and if you scroll again up then it is showing up again. If you are new here, subscribe to my channel and make sure to watch this video till the end. Let's get started here with the sample application on the right side. So we have a body property where we have some items so that we can scroll. And secondly, we have here this bottom navigation bar, which is here then displayed at the bottom. And now we want to make this bottom navigation bar scrollable. And therefore we want to wrap here around our bottom navigation bar widget, another widget, scroll to hide widget. And inside of the scroll to hide widget, we want to pass a controller and this controller we create then here within our state. And we also need to initialize this controller. So we create here this controller and within the dispose method, we clean it again up. And lastly, we want to attach our scroll controller to our list view so that we can determine if our list view is currently scrolling. And based on it, we want to later hide here then this bottom navigation bar. Therefore, let's go here to our body property and here to our list view, which is a scrollable widget. However, you can also take any other scrollable widget where you simply put here the controller inside. So all in all, this controller is now going inside of the scrollable widget here in the middle and also inside of the scroll to hide widget, which is here wrapped around our bottom navigation bar. All right, and lastly, we want to create then the scroll to hide widget together. So first of all, we put here the controller and child widget inside and also a duration how long this animation should last later to hide here this bottom navigation bar. Next, we go to our build method and here we want to wrap then our child widget, which is here this bottom navigation bar around with an animated container. And we also put here the duration inside that we have supplied it here at the top. Next, we go to our state and here we add a Boolean field is visible and we can use this field now to toggle the visibility of this bottom navigation bar. Therefore, let's go here to our animated container and we set here first of all the height of this bottom navigation bar and we set it here to 56 pixels in height. Let's also go back and in case our widget is not visible, then we want to set our height to zero. And this is already the whole trick. So later, if we change this is visible field, then we change always and animate between a size of 56 and zero. And this will then result in this animation. In Flutter, we also have a problem. So if we later set here this value to zero, then we get here this overflow error. And this is because the child widget is bigger than this zero height and tries also to put it inside of it. And therefore this is not working. However, how you can prevent it is by simply wrapping here your widget inside of a wrap widget. And now let's try again out. So we put here again zero inside and then you see our bottom navigation bar is hiding and we don't have here this overflow error anymore. All right, now we have basically this animated bottom navigation bar and next we want to combine it here with the scrolling. So if we scroll, then we want to hide our bottom navigation bar or show it again up. And to get access of the scrolling behavior here in the middle, we simply take here our scroll controller and here within this init state method, we want to add then to our scroll controller a listener so that we can listen to the changes of this list here in the middle. And we also want to dispose it. So we create here the add listener and we remove listener methods. And now we can create here this method listen to actually listen to the changes. Before we implement here this listen functionality, let's also quickly add here two other methods. So one is for showing our bottom navigation bar. So basically we set here this is visible flag to true. And secondly, we have the height method. And here we set then this is visible flag to false. And with these both methods, we can then control if we hide here our bottom navigation bar or show it up. And we want to use them right now within the listen method. Therefore, let's get started by first of all getting here the scroll direction. And this is what you can get over the scroll controller. And here you can basically check if it is scrolling forward or if it is scrolling backward. And depending on it, you want to show then this bottom navigation bar or you want to hide it. So let's try it out. So if I scroll here down, then you see it is hiding. And if I scroll again up, then it is immediately showing up. And this is a pretty cool effect. 
You could also implement here inside a totally different scroll behavior. So you can also do it based on pixels. So for example, if we are after 200 pixels here within our list, so here we are at zero pixels. And then if we scroll here 200 pixels down, then he will hide our bottom navigation bar and you can scroll here the whole list down. And now if you come back here to the location of 200 pixels, so let's go here up and then he will show up here this bottom navigation bar again. All right, let's sum everything again up. So first of all, you need to create within your state a scroll controller and the scroll controller you need to attach then to your body widget and also to the scroll to hide widget. And the scroll to hide widget is wrapped around your bottom navigation bar. And with this knowledge, you can also apply the scrolling effect to your custom designs. Let's also look here quickly at the implementation of this profile page. So basically I did here exactly the same thing. I created a scroll controller. Then I had here a list view and here I have then all the content which you see here on the right side. So all of this text and the images. And here I put then the controller inside of this list view. And lastly, I go here then to this bottom navigation bar. And this time it is not directly a bottom navigation bar. It is simply here a row which displays here some icons and a button. And around it, I also wrapped here then the scroll to height widget. And here you can also supply a height. So I have supplied here, for example, a height of 80. So instead of this 56, I have now my individual height, which I can set. And this height is then also going here inside at the bottom. So here it is then taking this individual height. And lastly, if you face any issues, also make sure to put here a container around your bottom navigation bar. So if it is a custom one, then you also need to set here the height. So if you don't do this, then you see that our layout might not look here right. So it is not correct like you can see. Therefore, make also sure that you put here the same height inside. And with this, you can also supply here an individual height. Make always sure to put both of them to the same height. And now it is also working here with your individual height. And by the way, if you want to get here this whole source code of this application, then you can get it with the first link in the description. And with the second link, you can get access to my Flutter courses, where I teach you how you can become a better and more efficient developer. If you like this video, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you.